Hi, I'm PokeJ Sim, and this is the top 10 sold Pokemon eBay listings for August 2021. Let's check it out. So I know August is not yet finished, but I had a look on eBay over the weekend, and I felt like I ran into a lot of these cards, which sold for quite a bit of money, and it really caught my attention. And uh, you won't believe like how much the number one card on this list sold for. It's absolutely crazy. So uh, I, got, I got this top 10 listings here, and I will try to convert it to Canadian dollars just because I'm in Canada and Canadian dollars is what is relevant to me. But yeah, we'll check out this list, and we'll start off with number 10. So number 10 here, we have a Pokemon card, PSA 10 Japanese Blastoise from 1996. You know, classic card, vintage, one of the big three, classic artwork. PSA 10 sold for $2,599 Canadian. You know, if you have this card in your collection, this is easy money, great looking card, and one day I hope to have this in my collection. Number nine, uh, Pokemon Japanese card ass green. Oh, an almost complete set of it, 151 cards. Uh, I remember having one of these cards as a kid, and trust me, they don't look anywhere as good as the cards listed here. I mean, they're, you know, the, the seller says it's most of them are in near mint condition. And the fact that you have 151 of it, uh, almost the full 151 collection in near mint condition, this is a great investment and it's a solid sell. And it's so it was asking for 2,200 uh, American dollars, which it's almost 3,000 Canadian, uh, but it sold for a best offer listing. Number eight, uh, base set, no rarity symbol, uh, Pokemon Japanese 16 card rare set. So these are all rare cards. Uh, but they don't show that little rarity symbol at the bottom. Uh, I guess technically you can look at this like an error card. Uh, but these are a great card to have in your collection. You know, they're not as flashy as, you know, some of the big hitters, like, you know, the Charizard trophy cards. Uh, but true collectors can really appreciate it. Uh, this card sold for just over $3,000 uh, Canadian in August. Great pi price for a great piece. Number seven. Now this one sort of surprised me. So it's a lot of Pokemon cards which includes some of the holographics from Wizard of the Coast. Uh, and the seller is also including a sealed Japanese jungle pack. Now this one surprised me because it sold for 3,539 Canadian dollars. And you know, they, like I said, they include a lot of the Wizard of the Coast cost, a sealed Japanese, uh, vintage Japanese jungle pack. Um, but you know, I guess, you know, I, I guess there's a lot of cards here. A lot of rare cards if they're in great condition uh, and you're willing to get them graded and invest that money I guess it's a good uh, opportunity there but uh, yeah a lot of Pokemon cards here some Japanese some American sold for three thousand five hundred thirty nine dollars and that's number seven on the list number six on the list PSA 10 2017 Japanese trophy champions uh, festival world card so this is where we start dabbling into promo slash trophy cards, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, this 2017 one features great artwork, I think, Pikachu. Uh, and it's a pretty low pop at PSA 10, only 22 in the world. And it sold for $3,861 uh, Canadian. Number five on the list is a lot of 14 Japanese, uh, Japanese VS first edition PSA cards. Uh, most of them being a PSA 10, some of them being a PSA 9. So the Japanese VS cards, so they're the first Japanese card to have that E-series layout. And they were released back in 2001. And all these being first edition, graded, PSA 9 and 10, uh, sold for 4,247 Canadian dollars. And I love E-series cards. I wish I had more. And I would love to have this set in my collection one day. Or even just one of these cards. Can't really afford all of them. But uh, that's number five on the list. Number four. Uh, PSA 10 Mario Luigi Pikachu full art promo uh, Japanese Pokemon card. So I think these came out uh, in 2016 and I regret not jumping on these cards because I mean you have Super Mario, you have Pokemon, cross them over and you know one of the two big, two of the biggest franchises, uh, media franchises in the world and you get Pikachu dressed up as uh, Mario and Luigi. You know two of these cards sold to PSA 10 seven thousand seven hundred twenty two dollars uh, canadian um easy money and i wish i had this these two cards in my collection number three on the list so this one 
surprised me a bit. So number three is a lot of 15 cards. 1999 Japanese uh, Pokemon Japanese Meiji embossed promo cards. And they're all PSA 10 gem mint. Gem mint. So like the card ass cards, these Meiji cards I also had as a kid. But these cards were beat up. Like, I mean, they're really cool. They're really like embossed and they kind of stick out a bit. Um, but, you know, I my cards didn't look anything like a PSA 10. So the fact that you have a 15 of these cards here sold for a PSA 10 uh, is amazing, I think. And the fact that they're over 20 years old. So there's a lot of 15 sold for $10,296 Canadian uh, in August. Number two on the list. So it's a complete uh, collection of PSA 10 McDonald's 2002 promo set, including all the energy cards. So these are uh, early 2000 cards, E-Series layout, and they are a, is a complete set of McDonald's promotion cards. So uh, just imagine the hype we had. So the hype we had with the, pro, uh, the McDonald's promo card this year, um, but back in 2002, uh, I was only 12, so I'm not sure what the hype you know hype level was back then but i'm assuming it was pretty high uh but the fact that you have you know all the complete set psa 10 e-series cards you know uh easy money so the, the sold the asking price was about fourteen thousand canadian and it was sold for best offer accepted um great looking card great set and sold for a pretty decent price because i think uh it's probably a good investment in the future and number one on the list, which is absolutely crazy to me, 1998 Pokemon Japanese Promo Family Event Trophy Card. Um, and the asking price for this trophy card was 500,000 American dollars. Um, so trophy cards are the rarest sort of cards in uh, the TCG. So you only can get them if you, you know, go to events uh and compete so this was back in 1998 this kangaskhan family event trophy card a super limited print super rare psa 9 um absolutely gorgeous card um i love the artwork of the kangaskhan on there so you have vintage you know you have super rare psa 9 uh this sold for best offer um so it was asking for about 625,000 canadian um assuming the best offer was somewhere you know within that price range so absolutely crazy this one sold i think just uh yeah just a, maybe a couple weeks ago in august you're checking out ebay yourself uh but absolutely crazy uh six hundred thousand dollar uh canadian pokemon card sold in august so absolutely wild but yeah so that's it that's my top 10 uh sold pokemon ebay listings for august 2021 so what do you think you know do you agree with my list any cards I miss, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, you know, please consider subscribing and liking my video uh, because it really helps me out a lot. But, you know, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll catch you next time. Peace.